attempting to cross a river this powerful should not be taken lightly. New Zealand loses over 100 people each year to drowning and has one of the highest annual drowning tolls in the developed world. That's going to be one option. Of all these tragedies, most occurred in rivers. Disappears into a whole world of ugliness down there. This is probably going to be our best bet. But I am always a little bit nervous of fallen tree trunks. You don't know how long they've been here. You don't know how rotten they are. OK. This tree has been swept downstream when the river was in full flood and then rammed onto these rocks. It's a sobering reminder of just how powerful these rivers can be. Seems pretty solid, this. You're just not human, though, if you don't assess it twice. The consequences of getting this wrong are big. It's the best option, but put a foot wrong and go into those rapids, you're not coming out. It's quite slippy here. Probably worth shinning. White water is treacherous. The constant churning makes the water aerated and the millions of air bubbles means it's much harder to stay afloat. Combine that with powerful currents and you've got a fight on your hands. And this is a bit you don't want to go in on. You don't hang around on this. OK, so go, go on then. Go on, come me. That's it. This is going to be an adventure. All new Man vs. Wild, Friday at 9, only on Discovery.